In this video, I want to talk about a new function called the alter join. Before that, let's have a review on what we have learned in the inner join lecture. Do you still remember the purpose of an inner join? Yes, inner join can help us to find matched data records between two tables. Because of this feature, we can use inner join to create a report to show which customer has placed what orders. Now the manager wants us to create a new report. In the new report, the manager wants us to show all customer information, regardless that whether the customer has placed the order or not. In the new report, if the customer placed the order, we need to show the customer information and his or her each order's information. If the customer didn't place an order, we still need to show the customer information in the new report. But we will leave the order information empty for that customer. What should we do to complete this task? Obviously, we cannot use inner tune because inner tune can only find matched data records. If a customer didn't place any, any order, we wouldn't be able to find a matched customer ID in the order table. For example, customer number one didn't place any order. We do have a customer number one in the customer information, but uh, we couldn't find the customer number one in the order information. That means we have a customer number one, but he or she didn't place any order so far. How can we create such a report? How can we include the customers who didn't place any order? At this moment, we need to use the new function called alter join. Why alter? Think about it. As the name implies to you, alter is larger than inner, right? That means in addition to the matched data records, we want to include the customer who didn't place any order who don't have any matched order information. This is how we include the customer who didn't place any order. Let me show you how to use alter join in SQL. Alter join is very similar to inner join because we want to show customer information, right? So we need to type in select an asterisk from customers. Next, we want to use alter tune to connect customers with uh, orders. Let me type in alter tune, orders. The purpose of tune is to connect two tables, right? Customers table, as you can see here, customers table and orders table. We use the keyword tune to connect these two tables. What should, we, what should be next? The keyword on. Based on which match the records you want to combine these two tables. What should be the connection? It should be the customer ID. So I need to type in customers dot customer ID equals to others dot customer ID and then semicolon. What this means is if I have a matched customer ID between two tables, that means a customer has placed the order, right? I will show that customer and his or her each order information. Because we are using alter tune this time, that means if we couldn't find matched the customer ID between two tables, we still need to show all customer information and then leave empty for the order information. Before we execute this query, we need to add one more keyword. That is the keyword left. We need to write left before alter. What does the keyword left means? It refers to the position of the customer's table relative to the keyword June. As you can see, June can connect two tables, right? We can write the customers on the left side of the keyword join 
or the right side of the keyword tool. Currently, customers is on the left side of the keyword tool relative to the keyword tool. That's why we'll use the keyword left. If you write customers on the right side of the keyword tune, you have to change the keyword to right. Let me show you. You don't have to use right auto tune necessarily, but I just want to show you the example. Let's say I write customers on the right side, right? Auto tune customers. Obviously, customers has taken the orders position. We need to write orders on the left side of the author tune. This time, customers, as you can see, is on the right side relative to the keyword June. Then we have to change left to right. right. Obviously, left is easier, so let's change it back. It's just a practice. Let's remove orders and then change customers back to the left side of uh, auto tune. This time, we need to change the keyword left, uh, right to left. Left is easier. So if you can choose between left auto tune and right auto tune, you choose left auto tune and write customers table on the left side of auto tune. That's simple. And then click uh, run SQL. Now you can see the new reports, right? In the new report, you can find some customers who has placed the orders. You can also find some customers who didn't place any order. For example, the first customer, because we couldn't find a, a match the customer ID in the order table, for the first customer, we don't show the customer ID. We use a new keyword, no, to represent the no matched customer ID. No means empty, nothing. It's a computer science way to see nothing. Also, the customer didn't place any order. So you can see no for all the order related columns. No means empty. This is how we include the customers who didn't place any order. Also, the keyword no is very useful for us to filter out the customers who didn't place any order. For example, if you are just curious who didn't place any order, you just want to show the customers who didn't place any order. How would you do that? You can change the main query a little bit. You can add where, where, right? Where order ID is. The keyword is no. no. What this means is, as long as the order information is empty, is no, we will select those customers. This is what the, the where order ID is no means. Let's click uh, run SQL. Now you can see all customers who didn't place any order. This is how you use uh, auto tune.